country that that cruise stage harbor is powering off. And cruise stage is turned off. Flight pyro pyro bus is armed. Copy, thank you, pyro. And enabled. Pyro electronics that are used to Roger. activate many of the devices that are going to be used to cut the cruise stage, and uh, a lot of the separation events during EDO have been armed. Nav is confirming that we are starting venting. HRS vent has started. And flight EDL, we're firing our first pyros to vent the HRS system. The RT, medley RTDP warnings are expected. The navigation team can see that the that the, the fluid coming out of the that heat rejection system is actually pushing the vehicle a little bit, as expected. So we can confirm that the vent is actually happening. Odyssey Com, Odyssey Mission Manager on EDL Ops. EDL.com, this is uh, Dynamics on EDL Ops. Go ahead, Dynamics. Uh, is our display configured correctly for you in the MSA? Uh, affirmative. I see it. Waiting for X-Man tones. Very nice picture. And we're expecting uh, tone start at 5.13.17 UTC. Copy. We're under two minutes from cruise stage separation. Odyssey.com, Odyssey Mission Manager on EDL Ops. Odyssey Mission Manager, this is EDL Ops on EDL Ops. Odyssey has completed its slew to the EDL Com attitude. All systems are nominal. Odyssey is go for EDL Com support. Great to hear from you. Thank you very much. We have a cruise stage step uh, about to happen. For all of EDL, so we will have their coverage. Things are looking good for them, and they're looking good for us. We're about one minute to cruise stage separation. The uh, transition to tones now. Uh, the system should be configured shortly. And we're seeing carrier only. The vehicle's changing to tones at this time. So uh, we're switching from telemetry, and we've lost we're telemetry, and carrier. we're going to move to just tones. EDA acquisition. And we're seeing heartbeat. We are receiving heartbeat tones at this time. Uh, affirmative, we're seeing the expected wow. two seconds of heartbeat, followed by the 10 second carrier pulse. Enough can see something that could be consistent with cruise stage separation in the Doppler. I'm showing a good strong signal, uh, higher than expected uh, carrier power, and continuous in heartbeats. Uh, EDL calm tones look good. We are receiving heartbeat tones at this time. Uh, things are looking good. See that we are priming the the uh, entry RCS thrusters. Crew stage separation. In about one minute, Curiosity's EDL software will wake up and begin uh, final preparations for entry. Uh, the first action it will take is to fire some warm-up pulses to get the uh, entry RCS thrusters going. Uh, the pulses will ensure the spacecraft will get the thrust that we want uh, when, it starts, when it's counting on it. We did see the heartbeat signal drop low for a second as the signal passed uh, by the donut of the cruise stage. Seeing RCS warm up. <coughs> Flight 
flight, this is Nav. Nav, yeah, flight, go ahead. Could you check with the ice whether we should be seeing one way data on the station? Ace, did you copy? Curiosity is reporting that it is spinning down and turning to entry. Uh, flight is just, we've been one way for a while now. Roger that. But currently we're just seeing the tones, obviously. Roger. Vehicle's reporting that it has completed its turn to entry and spin down, uh, and it has separated the cruise balance mass devices. At this time, the uh, vehicle's just sending heartbeat tones, just as we expect. Uh, it should be quiet for the next several minutes, hopefully. We are about seven minutes to entry. At this time, uh, Mars is actually pulling Curiosity in, and we're speeding up. Uh, we should be traveling around 5.4 kilometers per second on our way to about 5.9. thoughts at this point well I'm very variation excited in the pattern uh, antenna pattern is this reflected is the, uh, in the variation in the this is the part the that uh, really is entry this is where Expected we're getting levels. to the top of the atmosphere the great thing is that the propulsion systems shown to be working we're turning the vehicle mm -hmm. it looks like the vehicle is uh, going to be uh, doing its entry job very well and I'm very excited about that everything is going very well right. so make sure everyone keeps their eyes on the television because we might actually get some pictures if all goes well, then we might be murky and, co and covered with dust um, when we first land. It, but uh, we'll get, we might get some pictures today. Uh, wow, at landing. At, just, after, just a few minutes after landing. Excellent, okay, we're standing by. Thank you. We're just under six minutes to entry. Uh, we're continuing to wait for entry interface. The spacecraft is continuing to send heartbeat tones, telling us that uh, everything is okay and there's nothing significant to report. Um, this is as expected. It should be quiet for a little while, at least. We're now five minutes to entry. Continuing to receive heartbeat tones. Everything is good. At this time, curiosity should be up to about 5.5 kilometers per second. So what's taking place now? So right now, the vehicle is flying through space. It's actually uh, in, in deep space still. In fact, not until after we hit the entry point will we actually begin to feel the force of the atmosphere gradually building on that heat shield. So really, it's still a spacecraft. It hasn't actually become an aircraft. But we've checked out its, its, its rockets. It's actually used to turn the vehicle. It's turned to the right attitude. And that means it's ready to go. And as soon as we start feeling the, at the uh, atmosphere, it'll start doing its role to get to the, to the turn as part, as part of the, the guidance that it does. It starts off with a right bank and eventually will make a left bank and then, uh, and then make another right bank as it makes its way to, uh, uh, to, the, to the landing site. So it's a capsule right now It's a capsule. In. It's a, just a bare capsule, um, nothing looking out, just the radios is the only thing that's sticking out. And, uh, uh, and that's what we're getting. We're getting tones from that vehicle right this second. Okay. Now we don't get. We're not getting Odyssey data yet. That doesn't happen until a little while later. After parachute. Actually, after be, be, during just after entry, about okay. the time before parachute, just before parachute opens up. Okay. EDL phase dynamics. Did that work out? Go ahead, dynamics. Uh, just FYI, uh, OD two two seven. Uh, Run out looks like uh, missed distance of two three two meters. 
Over. Two, three, two meters. That's correct. Less than the divert. Roger. We can expect a brief signal dropout when we switch to the TLGA. We're at three minutes entry. At this time, uh, MRO should begin picking us up. Uh, but remember, we won't get that data for a while. It's got to store it and then uh, send it back down here for us to decode. Uh, we're still seeing heartbeat tones. Everything looks good. Spacecraft should be up to 5.6 kilometers per second. 